Gray is here on the Blaze Radio Network. Good morning, Americans. It's Friday. Thank you for being with us on this Friday. Ah, just so much great things to talk about. So many. So many great things that we have in store for you today. Uh, Just good news, all of it. Nice. All of it's just nice. In fact, it's great news. <laughs> I think you're going to love it. You're going to say, okay, everything's fixed now. We're good. Or it might be the opposite of that. I'm not sure which. <laughs> no. It's one of the two. <laughs> it's, it's possible that it might be the exact opposite of that. Um, Pat had uh, Kenneth Springer sent us some goodies, like candy oh. cigarettes. Yeah, here you go, Jeffy. Oh, nice. I mean, I'm sure this is I just like candy to remind us of our childhood, because didn't they make those illegal or something? No. no. Yeah, because it was it was causing... Promoting smoking? Children, yeah, it was smoke, promoting, yeah. S- promoting <laughs> smoking for children yeah. or whatever. I love these things. <laughs> Me too. Thank you, Kenneth. That, they got Lucky Lights, like, instead of the Lucky Stripes. <laughs> Kings. Find the victories. Do I have the little red tip? Because it used to come with a little red tip. Yeah. Uh, t- that brings back memories. That's yeah. kind of fun. Wrap these up in my sleeve. Is that how you do it? <laughs> how do you do that? Yeah, the old uh, yeah, you were 1950s old. thing. No, Happy not, days. Yeah. No. Yes. Yes, but I'm not. He's doing it wrong. Is what I'm saying. Okay. Thank you. What a surprise. I'm gonna I'm, so. I'm gonna work on that later. <laughs> with the cameras not on me. Yeah. I'll tell Are you they what. good? Are they good? They got a good hit there. Yeah. Look at that. Now, are those the he's, racist? He's, he's, he's got it on me, so he can't see you uh, over there yeah, puffing. I could, I could are they the him. racist menthol oh, type? Oh, they probably no. are. No, because no, okay. I'm not a black person. All right. Oh. Okay. If I was a black person, they'd be menthol. <laughs> right, because menthol, black people are more susceptible to menthol. Is that how it works? They like it more? The I, advertising was targeted toward African Americans for menthol uh-huh. cigarettes. Why? And so now African Americans, for the, um, the majority smoke menthol and so it's racist <laughs> i mean do I, I don't know why i have to explain the whole thing to you but <laughs> i don't know i'm just that thick i'm that thick headed that i couldn't make the connection between menthol does somebody, and racism somebody got a match how dare you? <laughs> how do you how do you make these work like do you have a, a lighter or something that i could borrow no they're they're pretend so oh, then so yeah. then Oh, they eat them. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. I or you know. impersonate Robert mm-hmm. Plant at a microphone. Good. Are they as good as you remember? No. Back in the day? No. No, probably not. But they're pretty good. Probably not. Mm. Uh, I like it. The State of the Union ratings are in. Yeah. And uh, just to give you an idea, like for comparison's sake, uh, just to put it into context. Yeah, how good it really was? Yeah. Uh, back in 2017, President Trump drew an audience of 48 million. Yeah. Went down a bit the next year. Uh, 2018, it was 46 million. Yep. Uh, 46.8 million went up a little bit in 2019, down to 37.2 million in 2020. Right. And they, I would just remember when it was down in the 30s and they thought, oh, it's President Trump and everybody hates him. Nobody's watching him. Right. So it went from 37.2 million last year to 11. Point six million <laughs> right. this year. Right, uh, but, but he was the guy who got the most votes. Most votes ever. Ever. Eleven point six million. Mm. Ah, but he's uniting the country. Everybody he sure everybody, is. Everybody's behind him and his agenda. <laughs> One uh, could make the case that if you already mm. know that you're going to get lied to, why listen? Why listen? Hey, Caleb Hole mm. uh, tweeted out back a few weeks ago of you know Joe Biden was falling up the stairs. And uh, he actually tweeted out last night, my tweet of Joe Biden falling up the stairs got three times more views than his State of the (laughs) Union address. That's great. That was hilarious. (laughs) 16.3 million people. And then... uh, so it went up to 33 yeah. million, I was going to say. Because 16 point... uh, It's not three times of 11 million. No. Right. Look at this. That must be a... He must have fixed his tweet. Because what does that say right there? Huh? That's not Keith math. That's Caleb math. Uh huh. Yeah. Ta da. It's just three times more. I, so, we weren't doubting that it said I that. I know. I just felt I had to vindicate myself. For did. once, I didn't did. screw up math. But we Someone just else know did. what we saw on the screen wasn't. Three Which is times. different than mm-hmm. what I had printed there from earlier. This guy, though, could be the worst. I think he's going to turn out to be the <sighs> worst, most destructive president 
in American history. I don't know that he hasn't been already. That's a great point. I was just thinking, how much money has he spent already? Uh, We were adding it up in the studio, uh, me, Stu, and and Glenn the other day, and it was $19 trillion if you put everything together. Good Lord. $19 trillion already? Just the $19 trillion, though. Yeah. Yeah. And again, it took us from George Washington to Ronald Reagan to build up the first one trillion. It's enough to make you want to smoke candy cigarettes, you know? It really Start is. Start to have it. It really is. And he's to make his, real his agenda is more left wing, uh, more radical than I think any president we've I mean, ever he's had. He's their empty vessel that we've been warning yes. about for two years. And it's definitely not uh, you know, middle of the road. He's trying to jam it down our throats all at once, yep. too. It's great. Climate change, the higher taxes. Uh, it's just push it now. The class warfare. Uh, pitting Americans against each other while you're claiming to be unifying Americans. Right. When instead you're trying to put, uh, you're trying to push the perception that rich Americans don't pay any taxes at all, and they certainly don't pay their fair share. Now, when you keep hammering this fair share thing, you're just building resentment among the rest of the population sure toward those people. What do you? It's like they've been freeloading the whole time. It's like. They don't deserve the money they have, and they're taking it from everybody else, and it's not fair. Uh, it's dangerous. Do you, do you, do you want this Terrible fun? rhetoric. Here's a fun notification uh, from CNN. Al-Qaeda w- vows a war on all fronts as the U.S. withdraws from Afghanistan. So we have that going for us mm-hmm. as well. This is just mm-hmm. all right. Well, I mean, they were going to say that anyway. Sure. Good. Go ahead. Have your war. You know what? Eventually, we're going to have to say, unless you want to leave a permanent occupying force in Afghanistan, Mm -hmm. there's going to come a time when we have to leave. It might as well be right now. now. Right now. I'm with you. Because the same excuse is going to exist forever. Right. Well, not right now, because that's what Trump wanted. So let's wait till September 11th. In 2060, they'd be saying, you can't do that. The Al-Qaeda will come back. Right. (laughs) You can't do that. What about the terrorism? You can't do that. The <laughs> Taliban will take over again. Yeah, I, I'm I sorry. I, I, no, I, I got news. They're for you. already taken over. That's just right. called any day in the Middle East. That's right. Yeah, it's, gonna, mean, it's the, just the way it the, is. The sorry. the mafia, the mob, the Afghanistan Taliban mob for uh, the poppy growers. They're already in charge. Just mm-hmm. get the heck out of there. Yeah. So you got to make a decision at some point. Are we gonna? Are we gonna? come back home at some point or are we going to leave an occupying force and then if we're going to do that we might as well help them run the stinking country yeah uh, because they don't do a very good job of it on oh, their own do not. so if you don't want to endanger your troops that are there forever then we take over the control of the wait government minute, wait well. and one of the big problems is is that they that whatever job they do that's fine it's the overall feeling is they hate us mm-hmm. so get out of there yeah so D.C. Yep. becomes the 51st state. Then I say Afghanistan. Afghanistan, 52. 52. All right. Puerto Rico, okay. 53. All Iraq, right. Whatever. 54. Well, that's the other alternative to getting out now. It seriously is. It, it'd be all in or let's get the hell all out. Yeah. Please. By all that is holy. Uh, he's also pushing gun control. Oh. Um, you know, the four years of education thing. 16 years of education. Before college, uh, that is a weird. It that's sure a is. weird item. We want your kids, and we want them from as and you know soon why? as we can get them. Because they can start the indoctrination that's at three right. instead of seven. That's why. That's why they want to do that. Well, as do soon you know, as we can get them. I don't know of another country that starts their kids' education process at three. Hmm. Are there some? I'm going to look it up right now. Does anybody do 16 years of education? Mm, that's a good question. I'm not sure. Uh, and his abortion agenda is unbelievable. It's absolutely unbelievable. Mm-hmm. Um, yep. What are you pointing to, I'm Keith? I'm pointing to Jen Psaki. Oh, yeah, when she was questioned about it. Was she now? I see. Well, huh, I, I didn't see that, so we'll, we'll, I'll, be, I'll be experiencing this with others who haven't seen it yet, and it'll be really exciting to <laughs> know right, that good. we're doing it together. <laughs> Yay. Here's Jen. Abortions in the U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops, uh, the leaders of the president's uh, own faith, said in reaction, it is deeply offensive, quote, to millions of Americans for our tax dollars to be used for research that collaborates with an industry built 
on the taking of innocent lives. How does the White House respond to that criticism? <laughs> Uh, look, I, I think the White House specific, er, uh, respectfully disagrees, uh, and we believe that oh. it's important to invest in science and uh, and look for opportunities to cure diseases, and uh, I think that's what this is hopeful to do. Oh. Go ahead. Oh, okay. okay. Go ahead. We're done with that. You're good no with that. follow-up. Yeah, so we're, we're not going to worry about uh, baby parts nope. being experimented uh, on. Nope. Uh, it's not a thing anymore. We don't care. I love that. I mean, Well, we do. <clears throat> we care about the science. The Catholic yeah. bishops, yeah. you know, leaders of his own faith. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, a science. Next question. Uh, so I'm looking at the compulsory education, and, I mean, it's it's all over the map. Quite literally, everybody. Uh, zero to six, seven to nine. So the U.S. falls between the 10 to 12 years. Children mm -hmm. are expected to be in school. The ones that go 13 or more, strictly South America countries and Mexico. That's really? It. Yeah, so... Beyond that, like even hmm. Europe is between, they, they fall in two categories, the 7 to 9 and the 10 to 12. What about China? China, good question. Japan. 7 to 9 years in China. <laughs> so it's got nothing to do with the length of time. It's the quality that you're looking for. Right. Isn't it? it, it shouldn't yeah. we be concerned about that? I, I mean, certainly we don't want to turn our three-year-olds over to the state. I don't think... Uh, You're I sending them to school, Pat. Want to. You yeah, keep saying right. turning them over to the state. Uh -huh. <laughs> My uh -huh. gosh, man. For the propaganda to begin even earlier now. <laughs> wow. Which is how they've accomplished the goals yes. that they've accomplished. Mm -hmm. uh, let's face it. This guy could become the worst, most destructive president in history because the stage was set for him uh, yes, through 100 was. years of indoctrination in our educational system. And the progressives have been well progressives are just patient communists that's all they are they they want to get to the same goals the exact same goals communists want to want to achieve they're just willing to plan and wait whereas communists say nope we're not waiting we're gonna we're gonna revolt we're gonna have a right. revolution at some point though whether no matter at some point the waiting has to we're going to stop waiting, and we're, it's a bullet to the head. Yes. At some, some point. Some of the uh, progressives, uh, some of the leftists in this country, I think, are there now. I think they're I there. Think so they're too. tired of waiting. All right. When, really, their efforts are coming it's to fruition close. right now. Yeah, they're pretty close. Yeah, they've, they've done it pretty much. I mean, they've got control of the education system. They've been indoctrinating our kids. That's why so many of them are so left-wing already. I mean, already. the coronavirus, COVID-19, <clears throat> uh, I mean, proved that they can, uh, they can take, they, they got it. Mm -hmm. They got it. Yeah. And I think we're getting this, you know, rapid fire. Would you say 19, what was the number that, that we've already spent? They've been waiting. The, 19 the, trillion. Yeah. So Trump basically was the hiccup in their plan. That was supposed to be Hillary. And so yeah. they've had, not only did they miss out on, on the Hillary presidency, they've had four years to add to that, and mm. right out of the gate with Biden, here we are. Which is why the first hundred days of President Biden has been so, so good. overwhelming. Yeah, yeah good, so good, good. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's so, like, so, so, so yeah. good. Oh, man. He's done more damage, I think, in a hundred days than maybe Obama did in the whole oh, my gosh. eight years. It's pretty amazing. Boy, when you say it like it's that. breathtaking. And it was all, and, and a lot of it was based on the hatred of Trump. Yeah, right? yeah. And so now they, I They're mean, taking full advantage of I that. I mean, the people who hated Trump that don't necessarily want the bullet in the head, I mean, you're looking at 11 million people, only 11 million people watching his speech. Mm -hmm. So those people have got to be like, oh man, we got rid of Trump, but yeah, we got this guy. We got this mm. guy. I, I don't know that. I mean, I hope we're farther away than to love the bullet in the head than I think. I hope so, too. Uh, I hope so, too. Happy Friday. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. uh, maybe we just, I don't know. Some people would say just pray. Yeah. Some people would say that. They would say that. that like you, right? Yeah, like I said, some people would say that. Just pray. <laughs> uh, New Delhi, in New Delhi, as many as 37 vaccinated doctors at the Sir Gangaram Hospital. That's where I was born, actually. Sir, Sir Gangaram. Yeah. I think yeah. I've heard hospital. you tell someone I'm more on trivia <laughs> yeah. that. Hey, I was born at the Sir Gangaram <laughs> Hospital. No, it was, it was actually another city. 
<laughs> I started. It wasn't New Gengar. So, so at the Sir Gengraham Hospital, they thirty-seven have... doctors have tested COVID positive. These are vaccinated doctors. I'm sorry. What now happened? And thirty-seven of them <laughs> have tested positive for COVID. That's uh-huh. uh, that's probably not encouraging. That's <laughs> probably not as ideal as you'd like it to be. Really? You know, a vaccine ain't doing <laughs> quite what you expected. Is I it? wonder how many doctors there are at Sir Gengaram Hospital. The, oh. Well, I mean, that's 37 out of how many? I don't know. Do they maybe have 100? How do you spell Sir Gangraham? S-I-R space Ganga, G-A-N-G-A. Mm-hmm. I got it. R-A-M. Uh, let's see. How many, how many doctors? So, speaking of uh, New Delhi, mm-hmm. I have a question that, uh, you know, all these people, New Delhi is... It's not New in, Delhi. It's just plain Delhi now, right? Isn't it? Although the story... No, <laughs> Delhi is where you get New food. Delhi. I, thought Look at that. I thought it is New Delhi. There's the... Huh. Yeah, it, you're Seriously. right. It's the Sir... It says Sir right Gankaram. there. New Delhi, India. Mm, okay. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I'm going to find out how many doctors why, are there. Why do we not have a travel ban from India? From India. To and from India? I yeah, mean, we told our people. Great we question. told our people to get out. Yeah. Yes. And we told our people, hey, yeah. uh, get out. And by the way, <laughs> just take domestic flights. Whatever you can do, whatever, however you can do it, get out. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. But we still have, according to a story that I read last night, fourteen direct flights. U.S. to India every day, every day. Jeez. Now we have travel bans and you know from the UK and Brazil and uh, a few mm. other countries and I mean I can find the exact list but no travel ban to India yet. That is crazy. And that country is on fire. On Three, fire. 379,000 people were infected in one day. And we're still yesterday. we're still I just God, don't worry about it. Mm. Don't worry about it. Wow. It's, it's and and we have uh with the the people coming across our southern border, mm-hmm. right? That mm-hmm. are we are allowing into the country with even before really high, we test. High infection rate. So it's almost as if. Now some people would say mm-hmm. yep. that that people in charge mm-hmm. want the virus to continue spreading Whoa. here in the US. Whoa. But why would that be, Jeffy? Why would they want the virus to continue? I don't, I don't know. Now, that couldn't be because they're enjoying the uh, extra power it's given them. It couldn't be that they control us almost completely on, right now. And well, if those, and they, and they don't want to lose that control, it can't be that. No, oh, what are no, you doing? because right? because they're they're more they're <laughs> concerned with with have us having our freedoms. <laughs> right. Uh huh. Right. I mean, they there's no love, way they love the I'm U.S. To Constitution. This crazy logic of you, gentlemen. Mm-hmm. So, um, uh, Gina Carano, you know the uh, got actress, got the actress yeah. from uh, Disney Plus, got kicked out. She tweeted out yesterday. This is perfect for this discussion. If you think the government will ever give you an all clear to go back to normal, they will not. You have to go back to normal first, and then they will pretend they were always going to let you go back to normal themselves. That's a brilliant. Well, that is a good. That's a brilliant observation. Yes, <laughs> that's really true. Yes, that's, it is. That's why I've said really true. You have to go into the store yeah. without a mask. People will follow your lead. You don't wait. For people them. are doing that. Good. I, I see it all the time. Every oh, day yeah. I see people. Less. See, more and more people are going naked face. No question. Into <sighs> business. No question. And 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 that's great. Mm-hmm. And people are making that that choice. Mm-hmm. But I feel like now we're at a point where we're making that choice because be damned. Be damned you're not going to tell me to wear a mask instead of mm-hmm. making the choice for health reasons, right? So that if we continue to allow all these people coming into this country to reinfect this country with these new strains, uh, then we have to, we're going to end up going back to, oh my gosh, the country's on fire. You people weren't wearing a mask. We've got to lock it down. <clears throat> Why the hate? Why the hatred toward immigrants? Why? Why the just naked, bald face hatred? Um, the 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 mongering and hate. Yeah, well, that he's I mean, he's mongering right now. I was going to say I'm sorry, but you know what? I'm not. There there, there are quite a few uh, doctors <laughs> at Sir Gangraham. There probably are. even more so than when you were born. Yeah. Um, How oh, many? There. Like quite I, I a few is. I couldn't. Hundreds. I couldn't scroll. There wasn't thousands. A are there millions of doctors? I'd say hundred. I'd <laughs> okay. say a few hundred, probably a few hundred, something like that. As I'm so a small percentage of so a tiny, tiny percentage. Yeah. So probably whining. what maybe ten percent or so, roughly. I, I don't know, but uh, well, if they've got three hundred and seventy doctors, right. yeah, that'd saying. be ten yeah. percent. Yeah. That's that's a that's high how, rate. That's a high yeah. rate. 
Uh, they were. T- I mean, we're getting reports now, and I doubt that we're getting the full reports. Mm-hmm. But I mean, they are literally on fire. Right? They don't know what to do with the bodies. They're burning them. I mean, it's it's frightening. Yeah, that is. It's not a good situation. No, no, it is not. Uh, let me tell you about Rough Greens. Uh, if your dog is a little bit listless, maybe you know, gaining some weight because they're not as active as they once were, and don't really enjoy their dog food. We're talking about a dog. I was right? about to say yeah. we're talking okay. about dogs. Okay. I thought I was talking about you. <laughs> No, I didn't think you were talking about me. I thought you were talking about someone That's else. That's because yeah, you couldn't be talking about Mr. Exercise. Thank you. <laughs> Rough Greens is a supplement for your dog's food that you sprinkle on top of it. And for my dog, it makes her dog's food so much better because she loves this stuff. And she's getting all the vitamins and minerals and probiotics in the omega oils that are contained in it. Uh, it's just great stuff. And it will make your dog healthier in the long run, more active, more like they were when they were a puppy. Now, sometimes it apparently takes some dogs a little while to get used to Rough Greens. So the first thing we want to find out is if your dog will eat it. So you can get a free bag of Rough Greens right now for your dog to try out. All you have to pay for is shipping. Just go to roughgreens.com. That's R-U-F-F greens.com. Roughgreens.com or 833-ROUGH-DOG. Gray returns. Mm. Hey, do you remember? In fact, probably doesn't take that much to remember because I think we played her yesterday as mm. part of our little montage of people who were singing weird songs about the vaccine. Jeez. They're just so excited about it. They love it so much that they burst out into song and then put it on, on the internet. Uh, remember the one who's like the... Oh, one of the early ones. The lady he thought, trying to get the a first. gang sign thing. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I still yeah. wear a mask, Ugh. even though I am twice vaccinated. Bingo. That's my gang sign. <laughs> That's hilarious. You are sick. Just be it, trying to be funny. You look like an idiot. No, no, no. She's been <laughs> trying to get that thing to stick. She has. On multiple, like, I don't know, Instagram or TikTok videos. I don't know. We have some still shots of of her. Uh, Doing the uh, X. Yeah, like, there's her, oh, nice. her husband. Look at us. Huh. What else okay. we got? Here she is. There it is. Throwing again. axes or something. Oh. Doing that. Uh-huh. That's, that's safe. And then she's shoveling. Uh-huh. And doing it. Please be like me. Let's do a gang sign thing. Well, yeah, she's got a, as you said, another. Yeah. another Axe throwing is actually a, turning into a kind of a big deal. Okay, while yeah. doing a vax sign. Is no, it? but yeah, it is. Let's see Do- this beauty in the if pool. You are in public or in the hot tub. It's still important to wear a mask, even if you are twice vaccinated. <laughs> then why am I getting twice vaccinated? Right. Why? why? That, if, we're getting, if it doesn't protect me at all or those around me, why am I getting this stupid well, vaccine? And I think that's, I mean, we're getting the, uh, you know, the two messages, right? We're getting the messages of get vaccinated, you must get vaccinated, get vaccinated, you must get vaccinated. Everyone is welcome, get vaccinated, protect yourself from COVID-19. But then and we find yet, out it doesn't do any of that. And yet we still have to uh, yeah. social distance, we still have to wear do a the mask. mask, we still have to do all the everything that we had to do mm-hmm. prior to become vaccinated. Now, mm-hmm. uh, okay, all right. No, it's not okay. No, wait, what do you mean? It's uh, not all right. All right. You keep using really that word. Whatever. <laughs> Uh-huh. You keep using that word. Mm. I don't think it means what you think it means. <laughs> all right. Remember, if you yeah. think the government will ever give you an all clear to go back to normal, they will not. You have to go back to normal first, Jeffy. Okay. Exactly. Uh, Dr. Brian Byram, uh, it's Byram, Brittle, or Bridal, performing a simple experiment to show us what, how, just how f- effective these masks oh, cool. really are. And we all know that uh, they're, well, they're essential in keeping you alive. That's they're the They're essential. Yes. And uh, Byram shows us just how okay, essential cool. they are. Excellent. Okay. As a scientist, I'm little, write little experiment and let people draw their own conclusions. The primary mode of transmission of SARS coronavirus 2 is through aerosols. And if you want to right. visualize it, when you go out in the cold air in the middle of the winter and you know you talk about I can see my breath, yeah. that's the aerosols that you're breathing in. Oh. I wear glasses. Yeah, we know that. So when we breathe on, mm-hmm. 
you know, the lenses and fog them up. The fog moisture we're getting on there, that's, that's the aerosols. Now, air is always going to travel, you know, the easiest way out. So most of the air... Oh, the air out the out, the uh, top and bottom. Over Pause it for a second. Yeah. You didn't tell me this guy was Canadian. Why, oh. If I would have known he was Canadian, I would have discounted the See? whole thing. We wouldn't even play it. But there are brothers to the north. Yeah. It's just, I mean, anybody who says oot instead of out, <laughs> you, you can't take them seriously. <laughs> do right. not, no, do not push play on that video again. Don't yeah, do I'm it. I'm going to. No, I'm actually going to. Here. What people say is, mm. okay, 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 there's leak points, but if I have a properly fitting mask, surely, you know, what you said can't, can't be true, right? So let, let me see if I can show you this. We've been told to, to use up to three masks. So I've got one. And I actually don't know if I'm going to be able to get Up to all three. these on because one of the things that's interesting, actually, my right ear pin and now is permanently uh, deformed a little bit. It sticks oh. out from my head more than the other <laughs> it sticks one. Sticks oot from his head um, because of all the mask wearing. But so let me put on. Here's two. Oh, he's blaming his ear, ear deformity three. on the mask wearing. Okay. Mm-hmm. Put on the fourth one. I don't know if we'll get the fifth one on. Okay. <laughs> he's got five, five masks. masks. All right. Three ply surgical masks, so 15 layers. I'm going to seal it around their mouth. If it's true the air cells that come through, then this should fog up. We'll see. Breathe. And he's breathing through, keep in mind, five masks. Five. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, but we don't know this. that any of those particulates are. Can you see my eyes? Oh, uh-huh. Yeah. So there's so much moisture there that you mm-hmm. can see. Look, look at that cross pattern. There's so much moisture there. So I'm not going to say anymore, right? All I'm saying, I'm just pointing to science. So. Okay. This is crazy. Now, Dr. Jeffy's going to uh, speak. No, I was just saying, mm-hmm. we don't know that any of those particulates that got through the five are COVID, SARS-CoV-2, okay. right? And it's also a prolonged, so a, a prolonged, uh, if I'm walking down the street and I get mm-hmm. hit in the face with somebody that was breathing uh, COVID-19, mm-hmm. I might just blow right by me. I might not even catch it. I'm That's in your expert with, scientific. Yes, uh, yes absolutely. Well, and you know those opinions. those masks he he was Plus, using there were yes. were high high end quality. You you've seen where they make them in that sterile environment there. That's in, correct. In, yeah, in India, you can't get through the, these masks. No, Not you. the way they're manufactured. Yeah. Look at them. Look at the care. The Canadian <laughs> guy. The Canadian guy didn't have these good of masks. No. Well, yes, he did. He, <laughs> these are the exact <laughs> masks he <laughs> had. When um, when your mask so. smells like feet, we want you to remember <laughs> this video. Mmm, <laughs> healthy. That is the nastiest video when you think about what we're putting on our face after you see it being made. It's really uh, astounding. I don't think about it. You can't think about it. You can't like, think about it. It's like thinking about where your food comes from. Don't do no, it. No, I Just don't want to do it. it. Yeah. It's that's, like thinking this was a cow in a pasture yeah, one time. Don't do it. And I mean, that's Jeffy's life no. mantra. Don't think about yeah, it. Yeah, just don't yeah. think about it. It's it's good. It's yeah. a good safety tip. Just don't think about it. Yeah. Just eat it. Relax. Right. Just relax. <laughs> that's exactly what I do when I eat meat. I, I just don't think about it. I just eat it. I mean, that's the fine line we have between all the restaurants and everything, man. We just, we, I don't want to know. Yep. I don't want to know. So we got this from a pathead who, who forwarded to us uh, an experience here. Um, my son's school is fully masked. <laughs> okay. But there's a rule where if kids score three 100s in a row, I guess on a test or whatever, uh, they get a no mask pass. My kid used his pass <laughs> on a day when they had two gym periods back to back, so he didn't have to wear the mask okay. at the gym periods. That, that you is... believe they're they're making them wear masks? Yeah, that's at gym class. That's and the science stuff. says, "Hey, you got three one hundreds on a science. test. You don't have to wear one." Well, that's what he's wondering. Do high test scores mean you're not contagious? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> or is something else going on here? I've done. No, it, it does mean that yeah, you're not no. contagious if you can score that high. Control. Yeah. Just, it's you're control. you're so intelligent <laughs> that you. uh, you've already defeated the virus. <laughs> Teach your children that if you think the government will ever give you an all clear to go back to normal, they will not. You have to go back to normal first. All right, triple eight nine hundred thirty three ninety three. More Pat Gray Unleashed coming up. Oh, by the way, the NFL draft happened last night. Wow, they had a massive crowd. Yeah, a massive, mostly unmasked crowd yeah so we're gonna put that to the test again you know there's not one instance worldwide of anybody transmitting this disease to somebody else outside (laughs) Uh, 
I, I love I love how we got to hear how many people were vaccinated last okay. night. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, we're yeah. both vaccinated. I want that to be clear. Well, we're well, up here on stage know, here. Uh, and the, let me say it again: five minutes from now, and mm-hmm. then another five minutes after that, and then every two minutes thereafter. It was <laughs> okay. Do you really need that? Do you really need to? It was. And don't forget, the people who are closest to the stage have all been vaccinated too. We've been very, very careful and very, very safe. Here we go. All right. Okay. To America. I don't really care about all that. Just let's see who gets drafted. Mm-hmm. The shocking thing that happened was uh, Trevor Lawrence went number one to Jacksonville. Wait, what? Who saw that coming? Yeah. <laughs> that was a shocker. From Clemson? Yeah. Why did they yeah, take the Clemson quarterback? That's what makes me so mad is that they Jaguars took all of their time. <clears throat> like you've only had me too. Four I had months. The same. Come on, we've all you need know. an extra and ten world, minutes. The world knows who you're going to pick. <laughs> the pick should have been turned in seconds after the clock started. I mean, the pick was turned in a month ago. Yeah, come on, everybody knows. Uh, the Jets were equally unsurprising, of course, when uh, BYU's Zach Wilson. Mm. Was chosen you know, number two. I saw a story just the day before yesterday that had him going uh, later in the draft, and I thought that's what? not going to really? happen. No, it did not. That's not going to happen. The Jets were pretty married to him, apparently, uh, and I mean from fairly early on, they they really loved him. Yeah, yeah. One of the one of my favorite parts of this is how much it drives the godless animals out of their minds. <laughs> they can't. Stand the attention He's at the University press. of Utah yeah. that Zach Wilson is getting at BYU. They can't stand it. That's great. <laughs> it's that great. does make it a little better. It's, it's great. It's eating them alive. This jealousy. Mm-hmm. Oh, they can't take it. I was hoping that maybe uh, you know your your Green Bay Packers would trade to the Jets to get Zach uh, because yeah. your, boys, you your boy the, wants out. Yeah. There was a lot of yeah. stuff flying about Aaron Rodgers he to wants the 49ers, out. Aaron Rodgers to the Broncos. And none of that turned out, unless they're going to do it later. Yeah. But uh, the big thing before the draft was that the Packers were going to trade up to number three so they could get whoever you know they wanted there. Because the Jets, I guess the Jets were offered too by just about everybody to trade down. Uh, and they wouldn't do it because they were they, they were want, sold on Zach. They on Zach, yeah. yeah. So interesting. Uh, the draft continues tonight and tomorrow, and uh, so we'll see what happens. But it kind of it was surprising in that at number five, I think that the draft started getting questionable at three, and it was uh, Trey yeah, Lance. They took yeah. Trey Lance, yeah, the North, Dakota, North State Dakota State quarterback who had one season and one game. He had thirteen games. Mm-hmm. That's what he's had to show what he can do. Wow. I mean, okay. All right. Yeah. Good luck. God bless. Right? Okay. Yeah. Good luck. God bless. And plus, but those guys, <laughs> exactly. you know, those are the players that, uh, you know, end up kind of at least having some kind of long, lengthy career because they haven't been beaten up in college. Well, that's true. I mean, that's what, that's, that's true. I mean, they, there's a, you know, there's a great argument to not playing three or four years in college if right. you want to play in the NFL. Yeah. Interestingly, at number four, uh, your prediction from late yesterday afternoon, although I think it was uh, it was off the air, uh, that that the Falcons were going to get Kyle Pitts. Yeah, turned out to be accurate. Yeah. Oh yeah. So they got Kyle Pitts. Mm-hmm. I forget who was at five. Uh, five was uh, Jamar Chase. Oh yeah, Jamar wide Chase. receiver LSU. To, to the Bengals. Yeah. I thought they were going to get Panay Sewell. I think everybody did, but they didn't. But so, so Joe Burrow's knee still on high alert. <laughs> yes. Yeah. No kidding. Yeah, which is crazy because he's the franchise. So maybe you should have gotten somebody who can protect him. That might be a thought. Maybe, maybe they're high on somebody else later in the draft. Who knows? Uh, all right, we got some tweets here. B to Bodine, Mumbling Joe can take comfort in the fact that his ratings were slightly better than the Oscars. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah. Oscars were at 9.85 and he was at 11.6, was yeah. it? Wow. Yeah. Way to go, Joe. Crushed it. Way to go. Yeah, great. Joe. Congratulations. From Rowdy Introvert, it's hard to imagine how the U.S. can help run Afghanistan, since at the moment the U.S. is currently having trouble running the U.S. (laughs) Uh, Yes. Uh, Lisa Mower, in New Jersey, there are literally no people going without masks. Oh, yeah. I would love to take it off, but fear for my safety, and you should. Pennsylvania, too. I mean, there's plenty there. Michigan. People go crazy on you. I I would just, I, I don't know that I would. I would risk that because they're nuts. I know. In New Jersey. Uh, Keith? Mm, what? I was just waiting for your. What? Everything in New Jersey is terrible? What? What do you I was just waiting for you. Don't wear the mask. Don't do it. 
well, we've lost some of these people and states. And they're mm-hmm. not coming back. And that's that's a couple of them right there. And speaking of people being crazy in New Jersey and elsewhere over this stuff, um, we literally have some scientific proof now that they are crazy. <laughs> really? Get this. Uh, oh. According to a Pew Research study, it reveals that over half of white liberal women have been diagnosed with a mental health condition at some point. Wow. Surprise! Surprise! (laughs) Does that mean that there's a correlation between progressive ideas and mental health? Oh, you bet it does. (laughs) You bet. Let me just answer that for you. Yes. Yes. That's true. Yes. Yes. You know, it reminds you of the Michael Savage thing that uh, liberalism is a mental disorder. Well, Yeah. yeah, this is backed up by a little bit of science now. It's a common tactic of the politically charged on either side and normally perceived as a cheap one at that to take the particular adherence of an ideology and equate that diehard worship to mental illness. Uh, Conservatives label younger liberal generations as snowflakes or having Trump derangement syndrome if they didn't like the past president. That goes a little beyond not liking him. Thank you. They were nuts over it. Liberals and progressives label label right leaning individuals as conservative uh, or conservatives as racist bigots misogynist etc resorting to this type of lowbrow behavior might once have been seen as an excuse not to address the actual issues or beliefs at hand okay but what if Mm-mm. what was once a cheap shot or a personal insult has actually been found to bear scientific correlation between the individuals who hold progressive ideologies and an increased risk of mental illness. Dun, That's dun, dun. exactly what the Pew Research has found. And all politics aside, the shocking diagnosis of over 50% of liberal women with some form of mental health medical diagnosis is a public wow. health concern that no one seems to be discussing, let alone taking seriously. Uh, wow. 56% wow. of young liberal women have a diagnosable case of mental illness. Holy crap. It's 56? Right. Yeah, I'd say that's over 50. Yeah, 56.3. <laughs> that is unbelievable. White women suffered the worst of all. White women between 18 and 29 who identified as liberal were given a mental health diagnosis from a medical professional at a rate of 56.3 compared to 28.4 in moderates and only 27.3 in conservatives. I wonder so, what they were given it for. Were they trying to, I mean, were they given that? Uh, test for just because they had were trying to get some kind of special prescription and had to get it do- done. How they? I'm interested to see how they diagnosed I think this was that. for the mm-hmm. survey. I think this was Pew Research. You know. Yeah, I, it was. I don't know that they were. I think it was just for this. Am I wrong? I, I don't know. I, I, okay. I don't know. <clears throat> so, but we know that 56. We know that 56 percent of them they're nuts. Yeah. Okay. That's why they're liberals. <laughs> They're nuts. <laughs> and now we have the proof. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Let me tell you about Texas Superfood. Uh, Texas Superfood is, gonna, is going to help you be ha- happier and, and healthier and more active because it, you'll, you'll find that you have more energy once you're uh, nourished. Once your body has the n- nutrition it craves, uh, you're just going to be better off for it. You'll sleep better at night. You'll have more energy during the day. It's just it's that simple. Texas Superfood gives you the power of nutritionally dense fruits and vegetables. It's the power of enzymes and probiotics. I don't know what any of that stuff does, but it's good for you. I know that. Uh, And they tell us all the time how much we need it. Texas Superfood is organic, vine-ripened, antioxidant-rich, raw natural fruits and vegetables that makes maintaining proper nutrition really easy. All of these fruits and vegetables uh, are grown organically. From locally sourced farms so it's really high quality stuff it's the best nutrition you can get on the market so go to texassuperfood.com check it out for yourself texassuperfood.com you're listening to pat gray unleashed <laughs> I-, I love these next two videos these are these are very special uh, for a special leader <laughs> of the greatest country in the history of the planet. Uh-huh. Uh, this is our fearless leader. Uh, he just lost his mask. Oh, no. Oh, this was yeah. 
agonizing. Yeah. So he gets done with a speech. He's out promoting his 100, 100 days, days. Yeah, he's got yeah, Jill spoke, of course. I'm of sorry, course. Dr. Jill Biden <laughs> spoke. Uh-huh. I mean, he can't doesn't travel very far without her ever. Uh, or Kamala. And uh, I don't know who else was on the stage, but it's... I think you know, it was he, Warnock and Ossoff. I think this is Georgia. And uh, you can't find his man. Yep. Oh no, he can't find his mask. What do you mean he can't find his mask? He said goodbye. It's second nature to him, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> so yes. Why isn't it just right there all, all time? He's got the world Look looking this. for his stupid mask now. Oh, I can't find. Where's, <laughs> where's my mask? And, then he, and now, he's gotta, uh, now he has to remind people what's uh, going on. What's Thank him. My sister what? just found it. No, what? I mean. Mask. I'm in trouble. <laughs> uh, I'm in trouble. My mask. I'm in. Tr- I'm always oh. in trouble with somebody. Oh, uh, what's this in my butt? Oh, there it is. <laughs> what's this in my butt? There it is. He literally pulled it out his butt. <laughs> he just. And let me. I just oh. had this on my anus. <laughs> let me now put it on my face. <laughs> earlier, earlier it smelled like feet from India. Uh, uh, now it, it smells, smells like, like a butt. butt. <laughs> And uh, and now it's on my nose. Uh, so mask up, y'all. <laughs> now all of these people again. Like we go back to all these people have been vaccinated. Where's my butt mask? Where is it? Uh, I need my I butt mask. Here, here, oh, there it, it is. Oh, here it is. Here it is. My butt mask. There it is. <laughs> all right. I always put it in my butt for <laughs> safekeeping. He's not. It's so, <laughs> oh, oh, damn no. it. I, oh, broke, no. I broke my butt wow, mask. Are strong. you in trouble? I'm in trouble. <laughs> no, somebody. You're, you're stronger than you oh, realize there, it. old man. <laughs> damn it. They told me these were indestructible, but apparently they come what, right what, apart. Oh, yeah. What are you? Uh, why didn't you put it on uh, now? Let's, let's see you put it on, Mr. Okay. President. Set the example for the American yeah, public. My butt mask, my butt mask. <laughs> is now on my face. And uh, oh, I love it. That's a good I'm look. Protected. You're protected. <laughs> I'm protected. Get yeah. vaccinated. Get vaccinated. <laughs> Boy, that man is an embarrassment That's of every order. The leader of the free world. I know. Congratulations, America. That's our guy. I know. <sighs> then he was walking. I don't know. They were going to yeah, Marine I, I would, One. They're going to Marine One. He and Jill were walking hand in hand. And then he stops in the field and, and bends over. Uh, because he didn't drop his butt mask because his mm-hmm. butt mask is on his face at this point. But, oh, wait. Uh, like a three-year-old, he I mean, sees some dandelions. And he's he thinks, taking a, a gingerly are, walk, though, man. Boy, he, he looks weird. He's a really pretty. He does. Uh, here, here's a what are you doing, Joe? Right, what, what, what are you doing? Well, dandelion. Oh. oh, thanks, you. What a are, weird thing to do. What you, a weird thing. You, you just gave a dandelion to your wife. A weed. Now watch her. Watch, watch, watch the dandelion in her left hand. She's gonna get behind the marine, use him as cover, and drop it. She just disses the look. Now it's not there anymore. Oh, boom. She's like, she she's like, I don't need your weed, old man. Thanks for the <laughs> photo. Awesome. She didn't even take it on the flight. Right. That's she's, she's not playing. That she game. couldn't even wait for the trash can inside the plane. That, that is it, awesome. Is <laughs> the best video. I, I just love how she uses the marine for cover. That's great. great. From the camera. Yeah, that was a good move. That was a slick move. <laughs> Here, uh, blow it out and make uh, a wish. Jill. Make a wish. You're supposed to blow it. Look at and and it's even at that stage too. It's not even he didn't even give her the yellow bloom. Yeah, he no, gave, her, he gave her the. Watch this. What? Oh, it's in the hand. So we weird. Yeah, uh, but she she loved it though, and okay, she loved goodbye. it so much goodbye. she kept it for three uh, steps. Nice <laughs> three steps. That is all awesome. of three. All of three. Wow. I mean, that's embarrassing. I mean, for it, both of them. I mean, not even. I mean, she should have at least. I mean, I'd be. Yeah, I'm, it I'm on angry. The, I'm mad at her right now for not at least carrying it to the helicopter. Well, right. Where, where, why, you're supposed to blow and make a wish. You didn't even do yeah, that. Yeah. If, no, if it's a, if if it's not the the flower, right? When it, yeah, like it's yeah. like that. That was beyond like the flowering that. stage. Yeah. That was at the but, blow it on it yeah. stage, <laughs> which is what he wanted. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, yeah. That's what he wanted. I mean, what what were the words they exchanged there? It's got to be something like, okay, what, Joe? Are you three? What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, give me that thing. Right. Oh. That is, it's it's what a three year old yeah. does for their mom because they think it's a pretty yellow flower. Yeah. So they picked that. And it's cute with a three year old. Yeah, it is. It's cute with it's a three year old. It's not cute with a seventy eight year old. It's not. <laughs>
I'm sorry. And you're Come right. On, man. He was walking very gingerly. I mean, it was a weird walk, man. What is the deal? I mean, he I, was he was worried he was going to fall over. I feel like and he that, was. That, and that, as you say that, that was a high risk move. Him bending over and yeah, it was. I mean, it could have tumbled into the ground, man. Boy. Yeah, done a face plant. He's that not, would have been hard to explain. He's that would not have been well. awesome. He, well, he could, I mean, how many times have you tripped on a dandelion? I'm a bad example. Mm. I'm not a coordinated guy. So <laughs> ask Pat that question. <laughs> uh, let's let's see the walk again. I know. One more time. The walk is maybe more important than the actual daily right. line. Look at him. He's looking he is, down. He's not looking spry here. No, he's not here. He is not. He is, uh, one I mean, he is, foot in front of the other. He's making sure uh, that just he trying is not to fall. Walk, Those man. small steps, man. What the hell is with the dandelions at the White House lawn, man? What that's a good on? point, yeah. too, man. Right? With the upkeep on wait, that's the lawn not, a little wait, bit. Wait, that's not the White House lawn. No way. No way, no, Trump, look, there's a no fight. Way Trump has that That's yard. not the White House lawn. They're getting back on Marine One to go back to the White House. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's no way the White House lawn looks like that. Okay. I hope. Now, if it does, we got bigger problems in America. Than I we love have. how she drops it, though. That is that's fantastic. Price- it's, it's priceless. It really is. You you couldn't pay for that. No, that's, you could not. Man. <laughs> that's that sheer is, genius that right there. That's such a great move on her part, man. Just plunk. <laughs> okay, I'm not, I'm not carrying yeah. this stupid thing on the plane. Thanks for nothing, old man. I know. Wait, did he not? <laughs> Rob, did he not? You say he did not salute the Marine there? Really? I he, missed that. He does. He. Uh, uh, there he are a lot care. of times he yeah. doesn't do that. Is someone not? Yeah, someone didn't get in his ear to say salute the Marine. So yeah, he, he didn't even bother. No. Nope. Didn't even bother. Huh. There's another good point. Mm. There's a lot going on there in that little <laughs> video. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but they're masked. <laughs> right. Yes, they are both goodness. masked up. Thank goodness. Safety first. Good morning, Americans. It's Friday. Great to have you with us. 888 900 and Pat Unleashed on Twitter. If you'd like to get involved, uh, we'd love to love to hear from you. Got this from uh, Sounds Good. Earlier, Pat said bald face lie. I thought it was bold face lie. Keith, help a brother out. Which is it? I'm so confused. Like you're looking at Keith for help on this? Right. Go either Come way. Come on now. Uh, I'm looking this up uh, on Google right now. Uh, I'm looking it up here, too, because I think it's bold, bold, bald face. Uh, these expressions are both used to describe a blatant lie, but are they interchangeable, or is only one of them correct? One of the most common ways, both ways false right? statement, bold face, or bald face. In fact, nowadays, you barely ever hear the phrase bold-faced or bald-faced. <laughs> what? So in, they're interchangeable. It's both ways. In both any ways. other context besides responding to a lie. But if you've heard both of these expressions, perhaps now is the time, blah, blah, blah. So which is it? Get to it. That's what I'm reading. Something else that's very similar. It's like they just run like around I the said, issue. It's the same thing. Both are generally considered valid expressions. Thank you. That's what I said. No, Ta-da! No, don't listen to me. All right. So you Wait, you don't know why we don't want to listen to you? First of all, like. of course we didn't listen to you. Uh, <laughs> why would we? Is my question. Why would we? Don't. Uh, don't. don't. Do it. Not, <laughs> look. not today. <laughs> oh, no. Wow. It was oh, a look fat today. look. Wow. Drop. <laughs> nice job with that, Justin. Yeah, wasn't it funny? Woo, Justin funny. is all Good stuff. Yeah, it was I, funny, right? Funny. Yeah, funny. That's what I said. Funny. Yeah, he yeah. liked it. Yeah, yeah, he liked it, Justin. So good job. <laughs> uh, Swank Think uh. Tr- tweets, uh, these poor cultists, I can't imagine not possessing the ability to formulate an independent thought. Rowdy introvert. Joe's frantically looking for his mask because that's his pudding pass. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. Joe, if you keep your mask on, yeah. you'll get pudding. Don't lose your after mask. After we're done. Yeah. After we're done. Who would it know? No, after we're <laughs> done. <laughs> Can I have it now? Please. No, Joe. Where's your mask? <laughs> Where's your mask? No. <laughs> Joe, you've got to wait until after the speech, when we get on the helicopter, then you can have your pudding. <laughs> what speech? <laughs> what? 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 I'm, sp- I'm speaking to someone. And seriously, that's not Ooh. an exaggeration. Remember when the press said, you, you're ready for your speech tomorrow? Yep. What? what speech? What speech? What? Wait, what? Swank Think tweets, the POTUS couldn't find a mask in his pocket, 
and picked a dandelion for his wife like a toddler. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely running the show. <laughs> it is. Okay. It's embarrassing. Oh, it's embarrassing. I know. Had that again, and this is stupid oh to even God. bring I, it up. If it's Trump, what is CNN showing that? If it's Trump, you bet. He picked a dandelion, and in fact, a dead dandelion for... That's the only thing dictators do, is pick a dandelion. Right. Wait. What? That's right. Wait, where, where is that fact? I have no idea, but... Uh, <laughs> I'll go with it. <laughs> it's as true as anything else CNN says, so why not? Mm-hmm. Uh, all right, 888 Georgia anti-governor Stacey Abrams plans to write more erotic novels. So this is really yeah, good news her. for you, uh, Jeffy. I know. She's got eight yeah. of them now, right? Does she? I, we're she's asking got, you. She's got eight? eight erotic novels, and she has two <laughs> oh or gosh. three other graphic, uh, just uh, you know, just regular novels. So is she, she's an erotic novelist? Is that her yeah. well, I would, I would, I would, we talked about I would say that she is a novelist. <laughs> and perhaps, you know, so go. she has some of her books that are erotic. Yeah. How many, how many would nature? you say are on your show? Half a dozen or so. Wow. <laughs> no, I, I I have no say here, but but she sold one. I, she sold one of her novels, not the erotic one, for a TV movie. I think like a court one or something. And, yeah, she's got a mm. new one coming out that is uh, that will probably be sold for TV too. It's a, the new one that's going to come out is called uh, um, the. It's called when Wild Justice. Justice sleeps. Yeah, Wild Justice Sleeps. <laughs> yeah, and like the it's uh, based uh, Supreme Court Justice uh, goes in a coma. And then it's based around that. Oh, I see. Oh, wow. uh, That's powerful. A play on words. Good. Boy, if her books are anywhere near as coherent as the way she speaks, this is uh, the be Yeah, bestsellers. Stuff. Bestsellers. I mean. She says, I wrote two parts of a trilogy, and I think there's going to be a point where my mother refuses me entry into her house if I don't finish the third book. See? Oh. So I will likely go back and get that one done at least. But for now... Look I think at, I'm going to hang with the thriller space and see stuff. what I do. Look at that. Oh, wow. that's right. That's her pen name, yeah, Selena, Selena Montgomery. Montgomery. I yeah. forgot. Yeah, it's still coming back now. Selena Never Montgomery. Never tell. Those are, you know, those are just quick read books that are about are love. They and, about yes. love and? Yes, yeah, they're just soap opera books. Uh-huh. I love them. That's your cup of tea. You love them. Do you? Love do you love them? I Whatever love them. works. Why don't you marry, marry them, then? Yeah. <laughs> Nobody gets it. Why don't you marry him? It's so funny and nobody knows. (laughs) Oh, man. All right. Um, Tim Scott, the other night, during his response, claimed that America is not a racist nation. And so they jumped all over him for that. Are you you talking about Uncle Tim? Yeah. Yeah. They Uh, they proved him wrong immediately. They sure did. Yeah. The left is very, very racist. Oh, no kidding. And they're not above calling him Uncle Tim or the N word or all of that stuff was represented in the response to, to Tim Scott. It's just, it's despicable. It sure is. I mean, he didn't say there were no racists in America. That seems to be. What they took from it or whatever? Yeah. Of course, there's racists in America. Tim Scott said there are no racists. No, no, no he didn't. No. He said we're not a racist nation. Ah, oh, I just—it's unbelievable. So the next morning, which would have been yesterday, uh, Kamala Harris is asked to comment on his claim that we're not a racist country. And Senator Tim Scott said last night that America is not a racist country. Do you agree with that? And what do you make of his warning Mm. against fighting discrimination with more discrimination? Mm. I believe that we need to, well, first of all, no, I don't think America is a racist country, but we also do (gasps) have to speak truth about the history of racism in our country and its its existence Uh, today. And I I applaud the president for always. Okay, well, that's what he said, so zip it. Right. That's right. He, okay, so you agree with him America is not uh, a racist right. country. So watch for the firestorm. Uh, nope, of course not. Not when she says it. It no. was fine. No, because she... Yeah, totally uh, fine. We've talked about the power of the D. Yeah. And she cute. slid it in yep. there. She slid it in there under the, well, we're still all racist. America is not a racist country, but everybody's racist. We still got to talk about the racist. And when are we going to have that conversation? I don't know, When Pat, will we I finally have it? Well, we need to have it. I'll we tell do. you that. The conversation sure needs do. to be had Nobody in this will talk country. About it. Nobody will even mention it. <laughs> I'm sick of it. I'm sick of <laughs> Me it. Me too. Me too, because we should talk <laughs> about it sometime. You know? I mean. Um, I mean, more than every day, all day. We should talk about it. Even more than that, because we need that conversation. We sure do. Oh, yeah. we Stacey Abrams is the one who 
first started using that phrase too. Remember mm. that? She's the first one that said we need drum that into our heads. Yeah, got to have that conversation. Got to have it. Uh, okay, let's finally. Which, by do the way, it. I would like to point out that she got her way in Georgia, and now is realizing, oh crap, what have I done? And now she's out with Hollywood leftists saying, please don't leave Georgia, mm. please. I'm sorry. These people, they're fun. Aren't they, though? They shoot themselves. They shoot their country in the foot on a regular basis by getting their way. Yeah. we don't. Who needs Iranians yelling death to America when we got leftists right in this country doing it? I mean, every day. Which is why we need to have the conversation Which about is why we, in this yes, country. Finally. We I mean, it <laughs> needs to happen. Finally. We need to have it. We also need to have the conversation uh, about our police departments and whether or not they're racist uh, uh, systemically, I guess. Yeah. Um, and a, there's a student at Cypress College in California who was arguing that police are heroes and uh, they belong on children's Did shows. Did we throw him into the ocean yet? Well, uh, I think well there are some way. who would like to, yeah. Uh, here's the professor's response to that. I agree. I agree. All right, so uh, you brought up the police <clears throat> in your speech a few times. Um, so what is mm. your, like, what is your main concern? Since, I mean, no. honestly, the whole reason <clears throat> police, I mean, it, it, it is systemic. The oh, issue gosh. is systemic because systemic. the whole reason we have police departments in the first place, where did it stem from? What's our history? Going back to what Jeremy was talking about. What, where, what, what is that, what does it stem Professor? From? What is that? It stems from people in the South wanting to capture runaway slaves. Oh, my slaves. gosh. What? <laughs> Maybe they shouldn't be heroes. No. Maybe they don't belong on a kid's show. Uh, so I disagree with the uh, what Jeremy, Jeremy said about it because uh, I think wow. cops are heroes and they have to have a difficult job, but we have to have all of them. Life. Oh, I, I, yeah, I, each I, and every I'd one. Say, uh, a good majority of them. We have bad I people know. in every business and every yeah, part. Yeah. Oh, well, wait, a wait, lot wait, of wait, wait, police wait. officers have committed atrocious mm. crimes and have gotten away with it and have never been convicted of any of it. Yeah, which ones? And, and I think give me a some person who has family members <laughs> who are police officers. Yes, I, I, I understand. Um, and this is what I believe. This is my opinion. And this is, you know, not popular to say, but uh, I do support our police and we have bad people. And the people that do bad things should be brought to justice. I agree with that. But I think that, I uh, say, I'm saying it again. They haven't. Well, I agree with you on that point of they should. But right? I, so what I is don't. your bottom line point? You're saying police officers should be revered, viewed as heroes. They I, belong I on it's... TV shows with children. That I children think they are. are heroes in a sense because they come to your need and they come and help you. And mm -hmm. they have a problem just like every other business. But mm. we should Thank fix that. You. But I think business. they're they're heroes. Well, they're I think that's a the problem. It's looking at it as a business because they're actually supposed to protect and serve. Mm. Wow, that's, I mean, she's not oh, even making sense. So you're saying that because the, some bad things have happened, all police are bad. That's what, that seems to be her point. That's exactly her point. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's too bad. She's attacking and berating and, and again, an innocent student of hers. This is just pathetic. You spend um, the childhood wow. of your kids <clears throat> getting God. them to where yeah. they can go out into the world and... And get and, beaten and, to death like this. And then you pay, you, you that, that woman is being paid. Yeah. To, to talk to, to him and to berate him, berate him. <clears throat> it's despicable. Wow, is sure that is. That's was, just... that makes me really angry? I was <laughs> me really, too. I was really mad. Yeah, me mean. too. <clears throat> I'll go get you a dandelion. That make you feel better. What he, what he should have done is said, "Okay, well, cite me the times where they've gotten away with uh, heinous crimes." What are you specifically talking about? And then I can address your concern. How about that? <laughs> Thank you. How about if I can address your concern? You. So you tell me the specifics on exactly what you're talking about, and you know she couldn't have named a time. No way. There's no way no she way. would have. And well, there were no police, you know, before the South had to hunt down slaves. Yeah, what right. was that? Right. You know, what? She's, that, that's her belief, right? That's like, what she. That's the her her knowledge of the police. The South invented police. You didn't yes. know that? Yeah, they did. Uh, well, I do now. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. So that's great. Wow! First police department uh, in the United States was in New York City. <laughs> yeah, which is in the heart of the in, South, my friend. The heart of the South. New York City, Alabama. Is that where? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. All right. 
Okay. That's so, the one. Yeah, so she's been, right. Right again. Uh, thank you. Smack dab in the <laughs> middle of the South. And they were they were hunting down slaves in right the middle in the of New York. Right in the heart of Dixie. Oh, oh maybe, 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 maybe she meant uh, the cities that soon followed afterward. Uh, let's see. Cincinnati. Okay. Ohio. <laughs> Man. Oh, no. That's right next to Way South down. Carolina. I mean, that's in the heart of Dixie, mm-hmm. quite frankly. Uh, okay. So then New Orleans. Uh-huh. <clears throat> And oh, then, yeah. uh, uh, and then, of course, the the southern metropolis of Boston, Massachusetts, Philadelphia, oh, yeah. Pennsylvania, yeah. Chicago, Illinois, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and Baltimore, Maryland. You're In talk, other words, you're talking about every city below the Mason Dixon right. line, the pretty much deep, deep, deep south. Yeah, oh, man. <laughs> yeah, Milwaukee, man, <laughs> so south. It's actually north. So that's it's a lot like climate change. It got so hot, <laughs> exactly. or so cold, it flipped back around to hot, or right. vice like versa. Yeah. yeah, one of the two. Uh, it's good that that uh, that we're sending our kids to these it institutes sure of higher learning. Um, Roosevelt University professor mm. was caught uh, gloating on a Zoom call. I, I don't know if these people think they're invisible <laughs> while they're on Zoom. <laughs> Is that it? I mean, it's they're be- inaudible it's been- and invisible. They've been. <laughs> they should look. Be. We, we I, you know, you joke around about that, but it's mm-hmm. been over a year now that we've been having these, you know, Zoom meetings and Zoom chats, and mm-hmm. and it's been a Zoom world. And you'd think that people still would realize, hey, don't get naked, mm-hmm. don't diddle you with yourself, and yet, right. no, it still happens because they, you just, they, they're so used to just. Being themselves. But remember, yeah. this kind of stuff with these professors, that, that's been happening for a long time. And we might get this muffled audio recording every now and then that a ch- that a student has, you know, got their cell phone out or something like that. No, no, no. Now we've got record of this stuff through these Zoom calls. Here's two professors from Roosevelt University in Chicago just speaking freely. Hey, Gina, are you teaching at Roosevelt this semester? Yes, Ralph, I am. <laughs> Great. What are you teaching? Mm-hmm. I'm teaching middle school um, theory and practice, basically. Excellent. Mm. Yeah, it's quite wonderful. I love the university. I, I just do. Uh, I have to say, I do too. Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm so glad you're there too. Mm. You fit in so well with their, you know, the university's philosophy Radicalism and mission, and right? Indoctrination. I mean, it's all social justice all day, every day. I get to talk about all the mm. things I love all the time. All day, every Middle day. School. All day, all day, wow. day, all all night of my night classes. When I'm here, like uh-huh. I mean, really, I'm living the life over here. Oh, well, yeah, good. I always flip a... out the kids that take my master's class on fiscal policy and public budgets when the first three or four <laughs> classes are devoted to philosophy of social justice and how you organize society. We don't talk about one, wow. you know, budgetary item. They're like, oh man. Professor Martiri, this is a really weird way to teach a budget. Sure yes, is. Yes, it is. Yeah, it is, uh, Professor. Yes, it is. You know, it's part of everything, right? Yeah. What a foundation. If you don't understand your values, you can't allocate resources among public priorities that are scarce but all needed. Right? Uh, there Carl, you go. Carl, Mr. Marks, is that you? <laughs> Uh, Paige and Carl. No, it's Carl Ralph. Marks. So it's Ralph on the screen. Just so you guys know, you're on the you're on the mic in the auditorium. Okay. We're, oh, we're cool with that. Thank you. We're cool she with does, that. She won't care. We're loving we're loving the and Zoomers aspect of this. Okay. Well, anyway, I am because now this is officially officially like hybrid. We are officially hybrid. Some of us are at home zooming in. Mm. Yeah, I mean, mm-hmm. she doesn't care. Yeah, she doesn't well, care. What does it matter? Barely. The other guy shut up pretty quickly, though. Yeah, well, yeah. Because, <laughs> Lucy, you got some splat on the door. But she, she's already said she's in she social justice care. all day, all night. She that's loves amazing. it. And that's the thing. Oh I mean, they, they have been allowed to, to flourish in our society to the point where I don't care if you hear me. Right. I'm going to tell you, your right. kids, this is how it's going to be. Somebody said uh, that they'll just take their mask off. And not uh, in today's world, they're not. not today's yeah, I was going to say, ironically enough, it is. No, me- they don't. Metaphorically, they have. <laughs> yes, they have. Literally, they have not. <laughs> yes, they have. But Glenn was right when he said yes. they're they're eventually just going to come out and say it because they think there's nothing we can do about it yeah. now, and they're just proud of it now. And they're right. They're just proud of it. And they're right. Yeah, they're, they're they're absolutely proud of it. And like she was. Yeah, she, she was. I, you yeah. know, she's living the life. Social for justice her. all day, okay. all day, all night. I get to do my night classes, Oof. my day class. Okay. Good luck with that if you're sending your kids to these institutes. Uh, I know. Not good.
All right, let me tell you about uh, something else that's not good, and that's uh, that's pain. If you're in pain every day, that can really, I mean, it affects your life. It does. It it uh, it makes you a little more irritable. I know that with my back pain, just a tad irritable from time to time, and <laughs> you just get sick and tired of it. Yeah. There you do is get sick and tired of it. There is something you can do though, and if you've tried a lot of different medications, give this a try. Omega XL. This is backed by 35 years of clinical research, and it's not a drug, so it's not something you're going to be addicted to. Um, it it uh, actually has an off switch for inflammation, and when the inflammation goes away, uh, then so does the pain. So give this a try. It comes from the uh, pristine waters around New Zealand. Just tiny little gel caps that come in with the omega oils um and they're really easy to take and then when they build up in your system uh for me it took about a week that the pain started to lessen and then in two weeks it was completely gone so to get you started when you go to omegaxl.com slash pat when you order one bottle we'll get you a second for free that's omegaxl.com slash pat or you could call 800-844-4888 you are listening to Pat Gray. Triple eight nine hundred thirty three ninety three. Also at Pat Unleashed on Twitter. Uh, let's go to Todd in New York. Hey, Todd, you're on the Blaze. How you doing, Pat? Doing good. Good, good. Hey, you mentioned earlier that the the outbreak in India. But I saw something online earlier this morning about a, something similar going on down in Colombia, um, or Brazil. I'm sorry, Brazil. Brazil. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 That's you know. Open borders. <laughs> it's going to yes. be like ready for round two, guys. Oh, yes. Um, well, we better because yeah. you're right. Um, appreciate it. Thanks a lot, uh, Todd. Yeah, the, right. the Brazilian, Brazilian thing is not quite as bad as India, but they've got a really bad yes, situation, they do. too, because they've got a leader who's just not taking it seriously. He's had COVID. Uh, he has been uh, He joked about it in berated. the very beginning. Yeah. He still, he still kind of dismisses it. <laughs> I mean, at one point... We've talked about this before, and we talked about it when it happened. At one point, they said something like, uh, you know, Mr. President, like over 5,000 Brazilians have died from this. And his response was, so? <laughs> and? What do you want me to do about it? That was his response. <laughs> <laughs> now, there are travel restrictions with Brazil, uh, you know, not through our southern border, obviously, but, uh, right. you know, there are travel restrictions with Brazil. There are none, like we said, none with India with still, India. which is frightening. All right, Emily in Wisconsin. Hi, you're on the blaze. Hi. Hi. Um, yeah, I'm just calling to talk about a reaction I had to the Moderna shot. Oh, yeah, I think you sent us a yeah, photo us of that reaction, did you not? Yeah. After. yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at Emily's before picture. There she okay. is. Okay. The lovely Emily. And then afterwards, ooh. Oh, hey. So you swelled up a little bit is what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So they swelled. Ooh. I mean, as you can see, yeah, they were super swollen. Uh. Ended up having to go and get like IV, uh, uh, like anti-allergy meds. Yeah. Steroids. Okay. Yeah, because yeah. if you start swelling up in your throat, uh, you die. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can't breathe. <laughs> How long yeah. were you like I, that? Um, they're still a little swollen, and I got the shot last Friday. Yeah, so you're blaming this on the vaccine is what you're trying to tell us? <laughs> well, that's the only thing well, that has changed yeah. since <laughs> okay. it started. <laughs> so obviously you were allergic to, did you know, did you have any allergies going into it that you knew of? Mm, nope. No. Wow. So all the doctors mm. are saying no second shot, and they're still, t and they're telling me not even to get the Pfizer one. Right. Because there's so much similar things in both so this was the moderna is that what you said yeah yeah okay mm. what about johnson and johnson can you mix the shots what if you what <laughs> yeah, if well, you I mean... did half uh johnson and johnson <laughs> one fourth of the astrazeneca and, and then the other of the fourth for the second shot uh, yeah. yeah what what would the, how would that work out for you do you think in do fact you? do that and um... let us know <laughs> yeah just give it a shot yeah. see if it works because that's what they do now ah let's try it Nah, what do you think? What are you, you say? Are, are you feeling invincible now, Emily? Are you feeling protected? Oh my God! Yeah, I'm just. Mm. I after all these steroids pumping through my veins. Oh yeah. I mean, I just I got the roid rage going on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but imagine how much you could bench press right now. 
imagine. Oh. I mean, it'd be incredible. Well, I mean, I was just bench pressing my six foot five husband. So <laughs> see, like that's right. Wow, nice, awesome. All right, uh, Emily, thanks a lot. Don't send us it. any of those yep. pictures, Emily. We don't need to see those. Be yeah. safe, my oh, gosh. Golly. I love that somebody posted on Twitter the other day. Wow. Send, send me my vaccine in the mail, and I'll send the paperwork back saying I'm vaccinated, just like mail-in voting. You know, safe and secure. <laughs> that's how. That's, that's how really we do good. it. I like it. Yep, that's really that's good. Not bad. <laughs> Triple eight nine hundred thirty three ninety three. Man, man. Hey, it's time for some new music, don't you? We could use some new music. Okay. Uh, got some tweets here. Chitty Chitty Fang Fang tweets. All this talk about police reform. What we need is public reform to teach people how not to act when in the presence of law enforcement. Amen. That'd be helpful. That's Amen. One of, the, one of the things that would help. Yeah. And we get beaten up, right? I mean, you've got that kid fighting against his professor. He's been taught, as I taught my children, as I'm sure you taught your children, to respect police officers, yeah. to do what they ask you to do at the mm-hmm. time they ask you to do it. Yeah. And then he they get crushed at school. Police bad, police bad, police bad. Yeah. I mean And we saw what, what they get uh, at school. Uh whether it be college, yeah. high school, middle school, whatever, they're being indoctrinated the other way. Uh that's why I'm teaching my children now. Uh just don't listen to them. Just walk away. Oh, so I, you, I apologize. They, I thought yeah. you taught him no, how to respect no, them. Not anymore. I, okay. Not anymore. I just told him to ignore him completely. Thank you. <laughs> and see what happens. <laughs> like just, right. Take a shot. Uh, just leave him. Because you're white. So Did, go ahead and just do it. You see the story of the guy from England. The Nothing t- can the, happen to you. The, the, TV you guy, the TV guy from England who said that he, <laughs> I almost got shot by American police, trigger happy police. So the story is he gets pulled over when he's on vacation here, mm-hmm. and he decides, oh, I decided that it would be uh, wrong if I stayed in my air-conditioned cab, so I got out to greet the police officer. <laughs> yeah, they and, don't like that. And the, he almost pulled they his weapon on me, and he don't. taught me, he said I shouldn't do that. Yeah, what kind of idiot are you? Well, he's an idiot like I was when I first moved back east. I mean, here I am this... You know, kid, 23, 24, 25 years old when I moved out to Baltimore, Washington area. And I had just uh, driven to D.C. to check out. I, I, I think I was looking at the monuments or whatever. And uh, we were headed back to our house in Baltimore when I got pulled over by a police officer. And I had just interviewed somebody who said in order to uh, in order to kind of negate the aggressiveness of the police officer when they're giving you a ticket, get out and greet him halfway. And so I thought, no, no way. I'm going to get out and greet him halfway. Uh, you know, it's, it's, what could go wrong? As soon as I got out of the car, he's yelling at me with his hand on his uh, gun. Get back in the vehicle. Get right. back in the. So I got back in the. So, vehicle. but the headline of the story is Who you know gets you this that? trigger happy I, cop. But I, instead of saying that the police officer you know actually yeah, did the entire right. thing the without thing. shooting him. Yes, and I was acting stupidly. I can't remember the guy who I interviewed, but he was. It was like how to get out of a, a speeding ticket. Kind well, of yeah, thing. you get out of it because you know? you're, shot, you're dead. shot dead. Yeah, you never have to pay that ticket. Once you're shot in the head, uh, so that's your they, all right. They don't, give you a, they don't give you a ticket. <laughs> Actually, in today's world, they do. <laughs> they probably do. Yeah, but yeah, that's a bad. That's a bad idea. You don't get out of your vehicle. No. Like that. They don't know what you're going to do because you could be getting out of your vehicle to shoot them. They don't know. Which we have seen multiple Which, times. Many times. Yep. Uh, it just happened. During a traffic stop. Uh, yeah, one that we were supposed to be protesting. Yeah. Where the guy gets out. The, the, the taser, 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 that guy. He got out and was out, and then he got back into his car. I mean, I know he didn't greet them. They, they took him out of the car. I get it. But he gets back in the car. Nobody knows what's going to happen during those interactions. Yeah, it's it's just not smart. Well, then he was trying to resist arrest. Yes, I, I know. I, I, but... It's just agonizing to me that the stories are turned to saved from a trigger happy mm. cop instead of well no the police officer actually did a great job there yeah he, he didn't did what he pull was his weapon did not pull the weapon did not shoot at you um, but they get shot at often w- during these traffic stops you don't you don't know what the intent is of a person that you're approaching it's funny that you were told to meet him because I was always man I've been told forever man ten and Keep, two ha- yes. 
10 and 2 until they come to the yep. window. Well, that's what I know now, yeah. And uh, yeah. you know, when when you get if you have to get something out of your out of your briefcase that's on the front seat or back seat of the car, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. talk them through yeah. it as yeah. you're doing it, man. And and tell them that you're armed as well. Going in. If you are armed. If you're armed. Yes, if you're not armed, it's not a good I idea like to, to tell them. That, I like to keep that a secret. You like to keep yeah. that on the yeah. okay. <laughs> that. Keep that on the down low. Yeah. Uh, but the cops are under siege right now. Um, a Delaware police officer just died uh, this week after he was viciously beaten and uh, was the latest victim in a wave of violent attacks on police in America. Um, R. Adams Cowley Shock Trauma Center in Baltimore pronounced Delmar Police uh, Department Corporal Keith Hecook clinically dead Wednesday afternoon, though he was still on life support. A uh, 22-year veteran found unconscious after somebody uh, had had uh, attacked him from the side. He didn't see it coming. And then took his baton and beat him with it. Oh, man. So severely that he had dents in his forehead. I mean, oh. the, the, the guy just went crazy on him. Um, and it's those kinds of things that are happening all over the place. Sheriff's deputy in Watauga County, North Carolina, was killed Wednesday. When a, when a gunman opened fire on him and another officer as they conducted a routine welfare check. Yeah. The deputy was declared dead at a local hospital while the other officer was treated at the scene. Um, an Iowa man was arrested after he attacked and spit on officers as they tried to arrest him on suspicion of drunken driving. Uh, I mean, this goes on and on and on about the assaults and the shootings and... Uh, since, let's see, where is that uh, statistic? I was shocked. A total of 360 officers have died in the line of duty um, and, and last year. In the last year. The deadliest year for law enforcement since 1974. Wow. 360 officers. So that's more than unarmed uh, black people by about 10 times. No, about 20 times. And it's more than all blacks shot last year by uh, over a hundred. So is that different? Nobody's talking about that. Yeah, nobody's mentioning. Any I mean, of that. no, we got our, we have our president of the United <laughs> States talking about uh, gun control, and two hundred and fifty people were shot. Mm-hmm. Not how they were shot. Not any of the circumstances around how they were shot. Yeah, just throwing Why? random numbers. Why out do you there. do it like that? Because he's trying to tie every single shooting yes. in America into mass shootings. Ugh, just it's it's frustrating. It the sure lies is. that are perpetrated sure by is. this administration. This guy is a far bigger liar than they ever. I mean, th- even than they said Donald Trump was. Oh yes. Uh, oh my god. It's unbelievable how much this guy lies continually i don't know that he said anything true in fact but he picked up a dandelion for his wife he did that was so sweet uh and it was a dead dandelion too so that's even sweeter (laughs) that had gone to seed yeah yeah not the flower make a wish dandelion (laughs) Dandelion that went to seed (laughs) what a moron she loved it oh yeah she loved it so much she threw it on the ground as first chance she got make a wish Precious thing. Let's in show the that world. one more time because here it is. It's yeah. so precious, man. <laughs> oh, look, a weed is. <gasps> it's a weed. Hey, blow here. on this and make a wish. She is just like, oh my God. I'm not going to do that, Joe. That's what she's saying to him right now. In fact, <laughs> okay. I don't even want Okay, this she still thing. has it in her hand. Why'd yep. you pick this up? She still anyway. has it in her hand. And up the slide. And it's drop, gone. Drop, gone. Have gone. a nice day. <laughs> <laughs> so that great. is fan. Fantastic. Tell you that's a priceless. That is priceless video. You can't pay for that. That's just uh, it's fantastic. Triple eight nine hundred thirty three ninety three. Also at Pat Unleashed on Twitter. Anti discrimination group is challenging Coca Cola's attempt to impose racial quotas on outside counsel. Uh, kind of loving that. R- writing on behalf of the project on fair representation, attorney uh, DC attorney Boyden Gray accused Coke of violating the civil rights act with a new rule which would punish contracted law firms unless a certain percentage of their billed associates are diverse attorneys right they're trying to control the people you you hire that is unbelievable definitely are if you have any interaction with coke right they're trying to control 
uh, who you have right. as that, your employees. And that's the thing, right? They they'll wow. say they'll say, look, we're not trying to uh, say tell you how to run your business. We're just saying if you want to do business mm-hmm. with us, this is how we. That's expect how they're you trying to, to get around business. it. Yeah. In the letter, a copy of which was obtained by the Free Beacon in Washington, Gray argues that policy violates federal law, which prohibits all forms of racial discrimination in private contracting. Uh-huh. Koch appears to be following the view of anti-racist activist Ibram X. Kendi uh, with their new requirement. Former Koch counsel Bradley Gayton, who last week was appoint- appointed to serve as strategic consultant to the company's CEO, announced in January that law firms partnering with Koch would face a 30% reduction in payment unless 30% of the firm's billed associates and partners came from diverse backgrounds. Yeah. What does that mean? Well, I, I, like my people come from diverse backgrounds. <laughs> right. They come oh, from do Ireland. they, Whitey? Yeah, they do. Ireland, uh, Germany, mm-hmm. uh well, Ireland and Germany. That's pre- it's pretty diverse. <laughs> <laughs> wow, he kind of flamed out there. Well, yeah, well, well, I, Ireland, and Germany, Germany stuff. And that's it. Mm. So put that in your pipe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Talk about diversity, okay? Yeah. You don't know if you're going to say top of the morning to you. Or sprechen die Deutsch. You don't know. You don't know. It could be either or. Far from Dugan. Dugan. I thought that's what you were going to do the first time. <laughs> It'll be a complete surprise because of my diverse background. Right. So, mm-hmm. yeah, you don't you even never know. know. You, don't you never know. know. You never, <laughs> never know. <laughs> All right. Triple eight nine hundred thirty three ninety three. We have uh, good good news too on uh, the Lady Gaga dog front. Oh, uh, do we? we? We have got we have arrest well, I made we arrests. We already had the the good news because the dogs were returned to the dogs it. were returned by a concerned citizen. And the dog who found them. And the dog walker uh, has uh, you know is making recovery. Good after his mm-hmm. uh, oh, yeah, after him. his wounds from, shot four hundred and thirty eight times. I, right. I believe I, right. I, I mean that's the original impressive. story was that he was. <laughs> There, he was fired on with a Gatling gun, yes. and he had multiple <laughs> gunshot wounds. Man. Yeah. <laughs> then it turns out he was it shot was just once. like one time to the side. But you know, I don't want anybody to get shot. I don't no. want anybody to get shot. I'm it just saying just, that the exaggeration. Yes. Was sure, ridiculous. The report, the, the early, the early reporting um, was a little much. Yes, on his. I condition. believe they said he was shot four times uh, I, yes. initially. Yeah. Okay, it wasn't a Gatling yeah, gun. All right, so I may have exaggerated a little. <laughs> <laughs> but they, but then they, they had the dogs return, right? The lady found the dogs and returned them. And mm-hmm. Gaga originally issued a five hundred thousand dollar reward for this, these dogs, right? And the police told her, "Yeah, don't pay the lady yet. We're still checking her out." And so yesterday they arrested the guys, and I think they're still looking for one more, but I'm not positive about that. But they arrested mm-hmm. guys that uh, stole the dogs, and the lady was in on it with them. Of course. Uh, so it's kind of Gaga's, saw that coming. Yeah. So apparently they took the dogs and they didn't know that it was Gaga's dogs and they got nervous. Like they had stole the dogs to sell them for money and breeding money. And uh, that's how they make some of their money. I guess they're, they're, you know, whatever crime spree they're on, they're out. I mean, animals are worth a lot of money these days. We had a guy busted at the airport bringing in illegal finches the other day. And so, finches? But that's, I'll, I'll, I digress. So then mm. they uh, mm. they got nervous because of mm. all the coverage of the of the guy, and they shot him, and it was Gaga's guy. I guess it would have been okay. They wouldn't have been too concerned if it was just some random dog walker that they shot. But since it was uh, Gaga's guy, they got nervous and told the lady, you know, they tied the dogs up and had the lady go make sure they find them go make sure they find them so we take the heat off mm-hmm. and the police are like don't pay her uh, she knows more than she's letting on and apparently she did so it's you know gaga, they've all been re- we've arrested. saved gaga five hundred thousand. yeah that's great and that's good news yeah so the guy the finch guy i didn't realize how finches do you know i had never heard pat that oh. they have singing contests with finches in New York. I didn't know that I either. I didn't know that either. Now, do you know that the finches from Ghana mm-hmm. are the best singing finches in the world? So these guys try to smuggle in these finches 
from Ghana. Oh no! And they, you know how they, <laughs> and they get, and they've busted more than more than one guy, but they put him in uh, hair curlers, hair rollers, and they they what? tape him up. And so then they, and then they kind of the guy that got busted this last week had him taped around his leg. Mm. And the finches are in the hair coolers, in the hair coolers. That's where they just stuff them in the hair cooler and bring them in the country. So they uh, sell them to these people who are doing these illegal, you know, they're not, it's not cockfighting. It's not dog it's fighting. Not pigeon racing. It's a finch sing-off. Oh, nice. And they bet on it. <laughs> Did you know that? Is this on pay-per-view? It's got to be on pay-per-view, right? So these guys, so like apparently if you win, then you your bird, you know, your Ghana finch goes up in price. Thousands of dollars. Wow. Wow, that's exciting. Did you, did you know that a lot of a lot of finches are snitches? Did no. you know that? No, I didn't no. know. Okay. Well, that's why you that's put true. them in the curlers. They can't talk. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Boy, that, that that doesn't sound like a fun trip. No, it doesn't. No. No, it doesn't. And I didn't realize the, the Ghanese finches were <laughs> right. better than is the there American more, Is there more finches? money in finch singing contests? than there is in pigeon racing that we learned about recently? Uh, probably. Hmm. I would say so, yeah. Because pigeons are expensive. There's a lot of weird stuff going on that we didn't know about here. Tomorrow. I know! You know? It's really true. I know! How do you even find... Is that like an underground finch ring? Like, yeah, look, well, that's okay. the th- right. All these animals. I mean, the smuggling <laughs> rings are huge, right? We just had the guy that got busted trying to smuggle the turtles in from the... Uh, Oh, what have you done? You had a suitcase full of turtles. What have you done? <laughs> I, I can just—I can hear the clicking in the and other was, room right now. I, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm hoping that it does because it was just the—they showed the guy opening up the suitcase at the airport, busted mm-hmm. with all these turtles stuffed in his suitcase. There we go. Hi, how are you? <laughs> I mean, I don't think we heard anything Jeffy said from the word turtles until I'm just the song played. Just fill until the video. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-huh. Yeah. Turtles don't know why. No, they, don't they, know do why. they don't know why. Maybe so they maybe to, to, to fly maybe. first class or no? They coach. don't, they don't coach. deserve to die. Which is oh, why yeah. it was such yeah. a surprise to me that they were trying to be smuggled. Right? What were they smuggling for? Do we know? Yeah, they why were trying. They were they trying to breed them. Yeah, because they were bringing the uh, um... people are breeding illegal turtles. Yeah. <laughs> why? Why is it illegal no. to breed the turtles? No, it's, there, it's not illegal to breed the turtles. It's illegal to breed those turtles. Why? And sneak those turtles off the island. Again, those, those why? Uh, I forget what are the, the island that the turtles are on. Galapagos. The old, it's yeah. Mur- it's Myrtle Island. Mur- Myrtle. Where yes, the Myrtle, it's, it's the Myrtle turtle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're That's doing weird. a Dr. Seuss yeah. thing this morning. It's the Myrtle. It's, to it's the Myrtle Absolutely. Turtle. That's who it was. It wasn't the Galapagos <laughs> turtles. No, it was the Myrtle Turtle. The Myrtle Turtle Island. Yeah. Turtles. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right. You can understand how illegal that is. Since we're headed down this track, let's go ahead and play the baby <laughs> video, too. The, oh. the silliest, weirdest. Uh, I, I have not this seen is, this. This is uh, from TikTok. Okay. Uh, we got this wonderful. Good stuff, man. How awesome is that? One more time. And the baby's one, into it, man. Yo, the baby he's, loves it. He's rocking. He's, he's loving it. it. <laughs> Tell me that's not. That's not. That's, that's really not. good stuff that's right not. there. Wait, you don't like that? I mean, it's, Are you serious? It's cultural appropriation. It looks I like don't care. Me. That's great stuff. That is that I don't want, I'm trying fabulous. hard not to laugh because it was tremendous. Awesome. I love those little baby videos, <laughs> I man. Love, that's really I love funny. That. That's really funny. That was a great that was a great <laughs> video. <laughs> Very I good. think so. That was a great yeah, video. Fun way to, Absolutely. Fun way awesome. to finish off the week. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, then uh, uh, Keith says this is a very cool yeah, uh, so, fireworks you video. You know, I don't buy a lot of fireworks. Uh, every neighbor in my neighborhood does, and, you know, I get to watch them spend a lot of money. But I would buy this firework. Watch this okay, thing. This is what a $1,000 firework looks like. <laughs> She's lit. Let's go. Oh, my God. Mm. Quick, quick, quick. Oh, oh. It's a cool rocket ship. Yeah, that's cool. Oh my god. Oh, she's watch this. Gun. Watch this. Oh my god. Look at that. Wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Star Trek. 
the Star Trek thing. They did that Shoot. pretty seamlessly, though. That was very they? good editing. Yeah, they did pretty well. I mean, it's no baby rapping. No, no it is not. Not, not even go close to baby that, rapping. But I did think that's it kinda was kind of cool. It I was kind of cool, though. being tagged on that one. I don't believe that's a $1,000 firework. No way. That can rock, I, you no can't way. cost 1000 bucks just for that, can it? One Inflation. of those big rockets? Inflation. Mm. Maybe. I mean... That's ridiculous. I mean, if maybe that's a thousand dollars. Maybe if, maybe those are underground fireworks. I mean, if you drive into you know Kentucky or Tennessee and buy your fireworks oh along the goodness. side of the road, that, that, now that's growing up in Georgia, man. They're, they're illegal there. We would drive I twenty west to get to Alabama. You know what we're doing, and Absolutely, then back to man. Georgia we go. Yeah, stop off, man, at the roadside stand. When exactly. I when I was a kid, like everything was legal in Montana. Oh, everything speeding. <laughs> fireworks, whatever yeah, you wanted to do. Well, those three fine people there, it was fine. <laughs> yes, that, it that's was not fine. an exaggeration. Speeding, it really was. Fireworks, yeah, yeah. I know. You could. There right, was no speed limit, right? Yeah. Right on the freeways, of course. And that became a big deal, right? With the speed, the federal speed limit. It did, yeah. They clashed there. Oh, people yeah. were pissed. They took away federal dollars if you didn't impose a speed limit, so they forced Montana to do that, and now they have speed limits in Montana. But when I was a kid, they didn't, and you could, I mean. It, unless it was snowing and there was ice on the roads, yeah. you could pretty much go as reasonably fast as you. You could certainly do 80, 90 miles an hour. Always. Now, if you're doing 140, they might call that unreasonable. But uh, Really? Yeah. Yeah. That's too bad. Uh, but then the, the fireworks stands, you could buy anything. Yeah. You know how some things are legal and you can buy them at fireworks stands? Yeah, for a long time. Yeah, they, they, they made it legalized they like level, level three and you couldn't go below, you couldn't go above that. You mm-hmm. know? Yeah. I mean, you could get the cherry bombs, you can get the, <laughs> yeah. what were the, the M80s, the, <laughs> yeah. you get almost anything you wanted. It was almost like you could get artillery shells Yeah. <laughs> these fireworks stands. And why should, you should be able to you get should that be able stuff. To. Yeah. You should be yeah. able to get that stuff. When I hear people like, oh, I don't know, Joe Biden say, what do you need? Why do you need these high capacity It's not magazines? your business. Why? Tough. Yeah, it's none of your business. If I, want a, if I want a magazine that I can fill my trunk with bullets and shoot, right. what is it to you? Yes, that's right. That's right. That ticks me off, man. I don't, even, I don't even really want it. I don't even want it. I know. It ticks me off. I don't have it. I don't have I, a super, I know. I mean, I've got an... I, I used to have... Thank you. ...an AR-15, Thank you. but of course, that, that held, accident. I think... Yeah. I think the magazine held, I don't know, it 16, holds, Yeah, it 18, holds 20, something, something like, whatever. like that. But, uh, you know, they talk about these magazines with 100 capacity. I, I don't have but one so of those. But so what? But really what they're coming down to is these capacity magazines that are 16 and 20, mm-hmm. which really are nothing... When you look at the weapon, you're like, that's okay, so it's 20 shots. Mm-hmm. It's nothing. But even if you have a thousand, like I said, really, I mean, it just ticks me off that you're telling me I can't have it. Yeah. Because why? Because show me where it says in the Second Amendment uh, it has to be based on need. Yeah. I. It doesn't say anything about how much I need. It doesn't say the capacity or the force either. Right. Okay. So, well, does that mean you can sell nuclear weapons? Well, you know what? Yes. I mean, yes. Look, if That's I, what it means. If I can I'm going to strap it, it onto I mean, a look, tank. You might, now, look, listen, listen. The Second Amendment uh-huh. allows you to own nuclear weapons. However, <laughs> your local HOA may not. You might want to check with them. They have more power than the, than the Constitution. That's right. for sure. That's that, absolutely that is for sure. sure. Yeah, and, and I'm pretty sure there is a clause in our HOA agreement See? that says you may not have thermonuclear. <laughs> and that's where the man gets you. Intercontinental <laughs> blessed ballistic Those missiles. bastards. Yeah. That's where they you gotta get read you. read the fine print. I so hate that. limiting and just so un-American. Thank you. So mm. un-American. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's it makes it makes moving difficult. I'll tell you that if you if you have a nuclear bomb in your shed, yeah, you know, because you're like, right. oh gosh, we got to get the U-Haul and things then... heavy. That thing's heavy. <laughs> oh, right? yeah. And you don't want to drop it, oh, yeah. you know. So you ask around. Do any of your friends, <laughs> you any of your neighbors, have you a truck you can borrow? <laughs> right. Okay. It's a hassle. It really, it is. is. That's the that's the thing. Have a great weekend. We'll see you on Monday. Oh, and on with Glenn on next actually. Only on the Blaze Radio Network.